Most small action cameras usually struggle to get good audio and your voice can sound a little bit garbled and distorted. The sound you're hearing now is from the X3 and it's in stereo mode and the wind's blowing between sort of 12 and 20 miles per hour so every now and then the wind's going to hit the mic and the audio is going to sound a bit naff. The audio results that we've got in these conditions are no surprise with these types of cameras. And of course you can't eliminate the wind and we're not trying to do that but we want the wind noise to sound natural and we still want to hear our voice clearly over the top of the wind. Insta360 sent me these new wind muffs to test and they sit over the microphone and all it is is a small piece of velcro and then velcroed onto that as a small square of foam. Even though a small piece of foam sounds very basic in the advert for these, it says they're tried and tested and there's a photo of somebody on a motorbike. So my expectations for these were very high, so let's take a look. I've come to Canada Common and this is where I usually come to do any audio tests because when there's no wind anywhere else, there's usually wind at Canada Common. And today is no exception. The wind is blowing about 12 miles per hour consistently with gusts of up to 22 miles per hour. So there's plenty of wind here today which would interfere with the internal mics with the wind hitting the camera and creating that awful sound that you usually get. So I can't wait to get back to the edit suite to hear what difference these windshields make to the sound. So disappointed. The conditions in this test weren't even that extreme and the wind would have been much less intense than it would have been on a motorbike, that's for sure. I want to say something good about these. Maybe they work better in lower wind conditions, like five miles per hour or something. I'm gonna give you a second chance, so don't let me down. This is my fan test in a controlled environment and I've set the fan speed to number one. Now this is the same setup, but now I've put the wind muffs on and the camera is still facing the fan. There is a very subtle difference when the wind speeds are this low and the wind muffs do seem to make the noise of the wind hitting the microphone a little bit lower, a little bit, a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit. When you look at these more professional windshields like this one for my radio mic, the one on the ZV-1 for the integral mic, and then my boom mic windshield, I should have realized that a small tiny block of foam would have virtually made no difference. And I do wonder how big you could go with a fluffier windshield on the side of the X3 before it showed up in your shot. If you want some 360 camera hacks for your X3 and other 360 action cameras then you want to watch this video next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.